Paul. <laughs> she probably enrolled you in school on Monday, September 5th of 2016. <clears throat> you turned six years old the day after you went to school. Yeah. <laughs> now, I'm just guessing. Okay. Okay. <laughs> now, for my other sons, yes, they're in the wrong grades. Oh, and uh, being their homeless father, yes, you're violating certain laws right now. Mm. Now, I'm going to want them, and I'm going to want them in my custody, yeah. And if they have to live where I live, yes, that's what they have to do. The manual of basic educational rights uh, does mean that as a parent, mm -hmm. I'm wanting them to live with me. Now, everybody said, oh, my gosh, oh, what is truancy? Yeah. Uh, make sure your child provides the school with a note for absences due to illness, uh, doctor's appointment or other appointments. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, for those of you that think that I don't know how to parent my own sons. Yeah, I actually do. Mm -hmm. I'm 49 years old. Yeah. I'm not crazy. Mm -hmm. I wasn't in Squim and I wasn't in Jefferson County. Mm -hmm. And uh, the individuals, oh, Benjamin has a, an IEP. Oh. Now, to be able to suspend or expel a student for excessive un unexcused absences, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to give written notice of the parents' absences. Yeah. <laughs> My sons have been absent for the last eight years in the right grades. Mm -hmm. Now, um, the Office of Education Bondsman, Educational Rights Students with Disabilities, IEP is out of date. What is the Beck Bill? Pooh. Mm. A school is required by law to tell the custodial parent, and that should be me. Yes, it should. Mm -hmm. uh, in writing by telephone, whenever there's been even one unexcused absence. Pooh. Now, I have not been able to be the custodial parent. Yes. Because of your fraud. Well, um, these rights of parents, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and no later after the seventh uh, unexcused absence, yes. The school district must file a truancy case in juvenile court, yes. And a juvenile uh, truancy petition, yes. And you can get a fine of $25 a day if your child doesn't go to school. Oh. Well, I would say that we owe approximately eight years of school day. Uh, truancy order. Mm -hmm. Now, maybe the prosecuting attorney in Jefferson County would like to appreciate, yes, that when I email the sheriff's department, mm -hmm. I'm not a mentally ill homeless man. Yes. I'm a homeless man that's having my rights violated. Yes. Because of the use of forgery and fraud. Mm. Now, I'm not motioning a court. Yes. That did not give me any due process when having court hearings. Yes. And you cannot issue court orders without any notice or opportunity to be heard. Now, you're going to have to enforce the laws. Mm. And I... I'm going to sue you. Now, uh, as a parent, I have informed civil rights coordinators. Yes. 20 consecutive days of school. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, school districts receive money from the state for every student who is enrolled in the district. Mm -hmm. Is there some reason why you don't acknowledge the law? Judges, mm -hmm. why are my sons not in my custody? Because you issued a dissolution of marriage? Well, as it says, yes, uh, I didn't get a copy of it. Uh, because you issued a dissolution of marriage and it was a marriage certificate from the United Nations? Is it because Brent Basden is infallible? Yes. Even though the individual that was hearing the case on July 31st of 2015 was not Brent Basden? Mm. 
even though you say that you attempted to serve me twice and you didn't serve me? Oh, even though the, the law says that you can only issue uh, a temporary protection order for 14 days. <laughs> that you serve somebody other than myself? That you serve me in this Quinblot? Is there some reason? <laughs> you know, um, you're going to have to remove your fraud. Mm -hmm. Now, at what age and for how long can my child be homeschooled? Yes. Uh, we did file a declaration of intent to homeschool my sons when we lived in Airway Heights. Yes. And they were under the age of eight years old. So, uh, the 180 days of instruction per year? Yes. Obviously, being in the wrong grades, it means that the state of Washington violated. Yes. The obligation for 180 days of instruction in the right grades. Now, 8 times 108 looks like it's uh, times 2. 360, 24, uh, would be about 2,880 days of missed instruction. Mm -hmm. For the 8 years that you've taken, 2,880 days of missed instruction because of them being in the wrong grades for the last 8 years. Now, you, t you take that, oh, we'll do it again, 2 times 180 is 360, yes, times 8, yes, is 2400, yes, yeah. times 6 is 480, yes, 2880 days times 5 sons, poop. Now, I know not the whole time with Benjamin, maybe Maximilian, well, he's 4 years old in 2000. It probably max a million, but let's just say five times four. Okay, four times 2,880 days <laughs> is uh, eight times eight is 32. It, you know, it's somewhere around 12,000 school days. 12,000 days of... 12,000. Now I can get the calculator out. Yes. I, you're better at math than I am. So, four times mm, 2,808, 8,000, and four times eight, yeah, that's 11,000, another eight. Mm, it's very close to 12,000 days of missed instruction. <laughs> now, as a parent, I'm going to have to sue you for every one of those days. <laughs>